My name is Dr. Ravi Shankar Swami. I am a senior consultant uh, neurologist uh, at Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. Babies who are admitted to NICU, especially the preterm babies, have some issues with their brain development and the most common reason why these babies are followed up are because if they develop something called as intraventricular hemorrhage. The preterm baby's brain until the age of 30 to 34 weeks have got some immature blood vessels and they bleed in the brain and these are graded from grade 1 to grade 4. Similarly, some babies who sustain hypoxia or ischemia will develop something called as periventricular leukomalacia. Term babies also develop a condition called as hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. So there are various conditions where the brain are injured and the whole idea of the neurodevelopmental program is to identify those babies who have got some form of delayed development and which we can pick up these babies early and commence early intervention. The most common interventions what we do is the way we nurse these babies. So we try to mimic the in utero environment. So we keep the noise levels down, we keep the light levels down, we keep the babies prone, we keep them on their tummy and we nurse them in a nest um, so with the flexed postures. So all these are helpful which is uh, for the baby's development and it is called developmental supportive care. And as the babies are approaching 32-33 weeks, we start early intervention program. We put several uh, cards which are black and white color so that the babies can focus on these cards. We stimulate their muscles so that uh, they can help in sucking and swallowing. And these are all the interventions which we do in the newborn intensive care. This is completely led by our uh, team which will include the uh, speech and language therapist and the doctors from the uh, physical rehabilitation team. Babies, most babies are discharged around the age of 34-35 weeks once they develop about 1.4-1.5 kg and they stay some more days in the postnatal ward and parents uh, feel confident in managing these babies, they go home. Post discharge we ideally tend to see them um, immediately within a week but the, for the neurodevelopment practical purposes we need to see them around 6 weeks, 3 months nine months, uh, also six, six months, nine months, 12, 18 and 24. During all these visits, apart from just taking the general history, we also look into their medications, we look into their growth and we look into their immunizations. Specifically looking for neurodevelopment, we will do something called as a daily screener test or a Denver development screener test, whichever is easier and we screen these babies to look for if there is any milestones which the child is not achieving. These are early warning signs for us that there is some issues with the child and as a result the child needs formal assessment in the form of a full daily assessment and if it comes as the child has some delays then we start early intervention program. we will be doing a screener test which is the Bailey screener test or the Denver development screener test and apart from that we also do a neurological examination using the Hammersmith scoring of the infant neurological examination or sometimes people do also use Amil Thiessen. These are the two important tests which we do. We also look at the newborn screening result, we look at the hearing test, we also do a BERA assessment for hearing at a later stage for preterm babies and ophthalmological evaluation and these are the common tests which we do as a part of the neurodevelopment screening program. 
I told the brain can sustain injuries during uh, if the babies are born early or if there is a lack of oxygen or blood supply. Usually we classify the neurodevelopment problems into broadly into five regions. The first one is related to cognition. Cognition is your IQ, equivalent to your IQ. So any children who have problems with their cognition will have learning disability. The second most common problem what children have is related to speech and language. So these children find it difficult to understand which is called as the receptive defect and some children will have difficulty in talking that is expressive communication. So children who have receptive communication errors, children who have expressive communication errors, these are the children who will require further assessment and interventions in the form of speech and language therapy. The third most common problem we do see is related to their motor uh, abilities. So the common term which is related here is called a cerebral palsy where children are unable to walk, unable to move certain parts of their limbs, unable to feed for themselves and so on. Some children also have problems with their fine motor abilities which is basically uh, unable to coordinate their hand-eye coordination, unable to eat, feed themselves with a spoon or finger foods and unable to draw. Um, so these are all the children who will have fine motor uh, disabilities. So these are three main uh, issues which we assess. The other two issues which are related to the neurodevelopment are related to their behaviors. One of the most commonest problem what we see is called as autism and autism is the children, it's a pervasive disorder that has a varied spectrum. So children who find it, uh, have isolated speech delays, children who do not make eye contacts to various form where they are completely do their own uh, um, uh, world and they live in their own world, do not mingle with others. So it's a varied spectrum and um, this needs further assessment by the psychologist. The other problem which we do see is the attention deficit hyperactive disorder is also behavioral disorders where uh, children are usually inattentive in the classroom, do not do their homeworks and are usually quite disruptive um, even when they come to the clinic and um, these children will need further assessment by a psychologist and medications as per that. But all oh, these are the broad five headings where we look into neurodevelopmental program and we assess all these using a various form of tests which I have told and we pick up these uh, children so that early interventions are commenced. So it is no good just identifying the children who have development delay but why should we, uh, we should also treat. The question people ask is that uh, what is the benefit of treatment, do you think if we treat then will the child get better and the thing I always explain to parents is that um, every early intervention, every intervention, we repeated interventions uh, help for further neurons to develop in the brain. Uh, there's something called as the brain plasticity which usually the human brain is growing until the age of two years and sometime up to the age of five years, 90% of done by two years. So the more stimulation you give to these children, more neurons fire and as a result the brain plasticity you do see that where the damage to, was expected to be about 100%, we can help out with uh, minimizing this uh, uh, damage and as a result we should aim for these children to lead an independent life. So the various form of treatment which is available in the hospital goes the way how I described in terms of the problems. For cognitive problems we usually have psychologists who will be able to look into autism, ADHD and uh, difficulty in learning, helping with the school and so on. For motor problems, we have a physiotherapist and an occupational therapist who will help with the various balancing exercises, developing the various muscles, increasing the core strength of the child using uh, various forms of uh, artifacts which can help for the child to lead an independent life. And the third important thing which I told is the speech and language uh, therapist. So these uh, therapists help in not only help in uh, uh, receptive communication but also expressive communication. 
apart from that we also will have a social worker we have special education needs teachers we also recommend the, the various special schools in and around white field uh, where we work with them and um, so that these children are given the special attention which they deserve thank you